Hey guys, imagine if you, yes you, wanted to change the history for the better. Say, preventing a 5 minute death during World War II. So naturally, you would grab a gun, go into a time machine, and then travel back to 1933, way before Hitler could become the Chancellor, and kill him. Just like this. Wait, hold up. So, if you killed Adolf Hitler, then he wouldn't cause all those things, and then you wouldn't have the motive to kill Adolf Hitler. So, you don't travel back in time to kill Adolf Hitler. So, what now? But then, Hitler survives, so which means he caused all those things, and which means you have the motive to kill Adolf Hitler. Which means you travel back in time to kill Adolf Hitler, and then... This is something known as the Grandfather Paradox, or Hitler Paradox, because, again, same scenario, different example. So, it answers the question, is time travel possible? Or in this case, is time travel impossible? Fortunately, no. What has happened will and always be what has happened no matter the circumstances. This is this is the basic rule of Novikov's self-consistency principle. So if you don't understand this, then allow me to introduce you to Harry Potter and Prisoner of Azkaban, where in one scene, Harry and Hermione uh, travel back in time to alert Harry about something, so they decided to use a stone to alert them about that, that thing. But the point is that Harry has already felt then in the original timeline, so in this case, he just saw himself being hurt the second time. And in another scene, Harry tried to save his old self and Sirius from the Dementors, and he, what he saw in the original timeline is that he saw someone casting a Patronus, he thought it was his dad, but no, it was him. So after realizing this, then Harry uh, casted the Patronus and saved them all. So why does this happen? Well, let's look at Einstein's model of space-time, which from the top looks like a flat piece of paper, and it is true, because what he imagined of the space-time continuum is that it would look somewhere similar to a flat piece of paper. So what that means that there is a potential that space-time could bend on itself. So in this case, you're essentially in the same space, but you're just traveling through time, just like the model here shows. It's like going in a loop. I mean, you still exist at a time, but there's two versions of you. So that means that the first would always lead, then the second one would resonate. Because again, Novikov's uh, principle of self-consistency dictates that you and the time-traveling you do these things at this time, only different things. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, I spent a lot of time making it, and stay curious.